Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. So before we get starting, let double check a couple of things. I'm on Google Colab Pro. I subscribe because I need some GPU here. All right, let's check. Okay, all GPUs ready. So today I'll be showing text-to-speech models. The reason we have been playing with like a couple of text-to-speech model just to see which one is suitable for my therapist AI, um, because it's a therapist, so um, it's very important for the model to generate speech that is compassion, um, sympathy to the patient who may or may not have depression. So I've been playing with a couple of models. Now I'm going to show you and let me know your thoughts. So we're on GPU. Hopefully these are going to be quick. Okay, it is very quick. And it's actually faster than normal collab. And one of the reasons why I love collab because you can see these little cat running on top. Some even have Christmas hats. It is very trendy. Okay. So, seems like all of the installment should be done very quickly. And the, here's the model, it's called Bark Small. Um, from here, I just using the example from Hugging Face. And these are the texts that I already copied somewhere talking about dogs. Um, so we initialized the pipeline, text to speech, model, bark small. This is a text. We wrap the pipeline, the text inside the pipeline, and then run. Okay, import the pipeline. Hmm. Hopefully after this import will be fast because imagine a patient talk to a therapist AI and it take the therapist AI five or 10 minutes to respond back, which is not good. Um, but this, given the case, we have very fast GPU. So it's still considered quite slow for me. Yeah, quite slow. My patient's not gonna wait for this. Okay, here we go, it's done. So I am going to generate the audio and then we will listen to it. Here we go. All right, are you ready? Dogs were the first domesticated animals, bred and raised to live with humans. Over time, wolves living near humans became smaller, friendlier, and more eager to please humans. Humans began training dogs to hunt, fight, and- It sounds like someone, like a reporter on the news that talk about dogs, and it even have like a music on the background, which is quite interesting. Became smaller, friendlier, and more eager to please humans. Humans began training dogs to hunt, fight, and herd. I don't know if I will choose this to be the voice for my chatbot because it sounds like a reporter. It sounds very formal, maybe because of the text that I have. Um, maybe because of the text that I have. So that's where I have another notebook here. It's from Bark. Um, that's called Bark Demo. So I already installed all the packages, um, already a lot of model. So from here, you can see their text prompt. They even have a little like laugh in here to make it real. So let's just listen to it. See how real it is. Look, generate audio is not defined. I thought I already run it. Maybe not. All right, need to install it again. Hopefully it will be quick. 
Okay, so we're gonna run the preload models from Bark. Oh, this is heavy. It's gonna take us a while. While we're waiting, here is their GitHub. Um, there's like a prompt where you can indicate if it's a man or a woman, then it will change the voice accordingly. And then there's some like indicator where should they play music or they laugh. And then I think they just launch an option where you can clone your voice as well. Here, which is you can do different kind of like speaker. They support 100 plus speaker. Okay, which is great. So you can just like go ahead and play around to see which one is suitable for your project. Let me get back here and see if we're done. Like imagine running all of this with down GPU. Ooh. Alrighty. So let's see how it sounds. This is still wild because it just hello and then you know just this two lines and let's see how long will it take. Imagine it's like a real time talk you talk to a chatbot and then you keep waiting to get the answer from chatbot, which is not so good. And like if you have a customer representative as an AI, then your customer will not be happy with this rate. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to it. Hello, my name is Yuno, and, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but I also have other interests such as playing to tap to. Oh my god, it's like a background. The background noise is like someone is on the line and try to answer. Okay, this is maybe a good a good one for like customer service but not for my therapist ai um let's try this this is like a different um voice from bark i believe they let you to clone your voice as well So if you don't choose this option, whenever you run, it will be a random voice. Like just now, you heard from my notebook, the voice of a man. And now from this notebook, a voice of a woman, because we don't really have any indicator about what kind of voice for the model to use. Okay, here we go. Now let's see. I have a silky smooth voice. And today, I will tell you about the exercise regimen of the common sloth. Hmm. This is better than the first one, but it's still, he sounds like he's on the airplane mode. Okay. Which is, which is kind of cool. But, um, I guess I'm going to keep going to the next model. Next model I want to show you is Microsoft Speech T5. This one is also from Hugging Face. Um, so I change the strategy a little bit. I put it here as the text, the real text that I will be using for my chatbot. It say, I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling a little bit down. It's okay to have these feelings. Remember to take care of yourself and reach out to someone who you trust for support. So let's see with this text, if we can see some sympathy from the voice of the model. I already run it, um, just to save us some time. Let's listen to it. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling a bit down. It's okay to have those feelings. Remember to take care of yourself and reach out to someone you trust for support. I'm here if you need to talk more, more. Okay, this is actually sounds pretty, pretty decent. I was wondering, 
because they're using like a vocal like speaker's voice from a data set so they already have like speaker embeddings here so you can basically choose different voices as well what if i get my initial text here i wonder if it will give me like a report voice just like bark or it will sound more like sympathy okay let's listen to it my best guess is it will still sell sympathy let's see dogs were the first domesticated animals bred and raised to live with humans over time wolves living near humans became smaller because the speaker embeddings here is already like fix the voice so that's why it's not changing um friendlier and more eager to please humans i like humans this began voice. training dogs to I really hunt like this voice it's suitable for what i need but let's just keep move on to the third model um actually this is from 11 laps if you go and shirt 11 laps here are they have free option they have free api you can call it api and you can um subscribe on their like monthly solutions as well i really like them because they're flexible there's like multiple voices that you can choose here depend on your need and then their um the quality of sound is pretty good now let's see if i do again all of this the dog reporting the dog news and then i do um, jessica let's listen to it dogs were the first domesticated animals Okay, my first impression is it's very fast. Bred and raised to live with humans. Over time, wolves living near humans became smaller, friendlier, and more eager to please humans. Humans began training dogs to hunt, fight, and herd animals. Dogs were- You can kind of see the, call, call, like the quality of the audio. Um, what if I wanted the- I want some way in that, you know, empathy to my customers. So maybe not Jessica. Jessica sounds very um, fascinating. <laughs> How about Charlotte? I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling a bit down. It's okay to have those feelings. Remember to take care of yourself and reach out to someone you trust for support. I'm here if you need to talk more. I like it. I love it. All right. So that's 11 laps. They also, you know, you can just tip install 11 laps, get your API key. And then from here, get your client doing client generate text voices just you know indicate a name save the output and then get the output so i imagine if you have a chatbot with the front end and back end these will be all happen in your back end you get your back end talk to your front end retrieve this audio and then play the audio for the user so yeah this is the three text to speech model that i've been playing with I guess I already have my winners. What is yours? All right. Goodbye, everyone.